Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Hyperlight Drifter. This might very well be the final episode of the game, depending on how long this final dungeon actually is. Am I prepared? I mean, I feel prepared. Let's do it, why not? Hopefully there are gonna be some health packs here. So, we are descending into whatever is under this village, or city or whatever. I guess it's a village. Can't really call this a city. Holy shit. Okay, there is a city under the village. An artificial one, it seems like. I really gotta look up the lore of this game after I'm done. Because I think it's really interesting. And then I'll do a second playthrough on my own. I'm um, just kind of... Yeah. Just kind of with that in mind. Yeah, our sickness is definitely getting worse. I just have a slight suspicion that we won't be making out of making it out of here alive. Did you see that? The creature that's been following us, not the dog, but the other one, just flashed up there on the screen. So this looks like something very technologically advanced. So you can see him sometimes. He flashes. Just for like a split second. Looks like there aren't going to be any enemies here. Music is badass. He's watching us, isn't he? I know that's going to be the... Oh, shit. This is the final boss, isn't it? I only have two health packs. Thought there would be some here. Hmm. Please give me some health packs, game. I think my weapons are correct. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, thank you, game. Exactly what I wanted. Alright, let's do this. think I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Oh, this is the thing we've been seeing in our vision. The, like, diamond shape. There it is. Is that what's making us sick? I knew it. He has a lot of HP. Whoa. Oh, he's bullet hell as well. Whoa, 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 that... Hmm. Gotta stay close to him more. You can already tell that. He doesn't look like he... It doesn't look like he has a melee attack. Alright, let's do this. Aside from that dash he does. Okay, he does telegraph that quite a bit. The triangle, hurt, I mean the diamond shape he shoots at hurt, hurts, not just the bullets. Okay, maybe we stay medium range away from him. Alright. Shit. Yeah, you gotta be really careful of that. That breath attack is pretty much a one shot. Well, they definitely saved the hardest for last, which I kind of expected. Alright then. No! I was... Ah, fuck. I was stuck on him. I tried to dodge away. Hmm. That breath attack is gonna be dangerous. I guess he has a second phase as well. then three shots watch out for the diamond and watch out for the breath attack oh 
Okay, this is... Oh, shit. He summons help. Gotta shoot that. Whoa! Okay, that's a big explosion. It's like a... It's like a bomb. It's like, okay. Breath attack. Yeah. Heal up. Whoa, other way. Okay, he always goes from... So he always goes from... Oh, shit. Actually, not that difficult to do avoid those. Shit, heal up. No, don't kill him. Ah, shit, that killed me. I think I can get him. He's not actually that difficult. Um, just gotta get better at dodging. That breath attack is definitely the most dangerous thing he has. Because that's the one thing that can one-shot you. Start by hitting him three times. Dodge. There's definitely a pattern to all of this. Like, fuck, I got more ammo for this thing. Like, it's a weapon. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not know that he does that. Well, I could have guessed. That's really quick. Oh, other way. That's not an attack, is it? Well, I think it is. Can't really tell. Nice. Okay. He tracks more than you expect. Did I get him? Oh shit. It's all falling apart. We need to get the hell out of here. Can't even dodge anymore. It's the illness. It's getting to us. And the dog. So the dog and this creature that we fought are two different things. Come on, Drifter, you can make it. How are we not bleeding out? That's the thing. We, we're losing a lot of blood. Got an achievement. What the hell is this place? This is where we started, isn't it?
And I guess that wraps up Hyperlight Drifter. Now question about the end. Was that? Hmm. Are we actually dead? Or did the dog revive us? And that vision at the end. Well, if it was a vision, it could be a reality. But regardless, I think we did save the world. Holy shit, this... I honestly really like this game. Um, if you want a good indie game, definitely check this one out. It's challenging, there's atmosphere, it has really good music. Uh, it's not the longest, but still, I gotta commend this game for the art style and basically everything. I think this is a really, really solid game and something people should definitely check out. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, nothing more to say on that. Just really liked it. I'm definitely, like I said many times, gonna look up the story because I know people have told me that there's like explanations on what everything kind of means. And I definitely want to go ahead and check that out. But for now, I'm just gonna start wrapping this up here and kind of think about the adventure we were on. I mean, this is, again, not the longest game, but it does have challenge, that's for sure. And you gotta have quick reflexes and everything. And it's weird that I like this game as much as I did because I think I've said this before. Um, I don't normally really like the these like Zelda type games. But for some reason, I don't know, this one just grabbed me. I think it was the atmosphere. They built really good atmosphere throughout the whole game. And I have to commend them for that. Anyways, I'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me throughout this series. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, thanks for sticking with me throughout this series. And yeah, I'll see all of you in whatever I decide to do next. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see all of you next time. Wait, what the hell? Kanye West? What the hell did Kanye West do? What are all these names? Like the testers or something? Oh, just special thanks. All right, then. Thanks to Kanye West, I guess. I'll see all of you guys later. Goodbye.